Generally, the thighs and arms are done in three sessions. For the size, the first session, we use classic vector, and for sessions two and three, we use power sequence. Please see the chart indicating the different protocols for the different sessions. Do the front of both thighs first, and then do the back of both thighs second. Wrap two large bands around the legs above and below mid-thigh. Two and three. Follow the electrode position chart for the front of the thighs for the classic vector, classic sequence protocol. Begin with output one for the right thigh and we are going to crisscross the positive and negative electrodes placing both red electrodes on the lower part of the thigh and black electrodes on the upper part of the thigh. Notice the crisscross. This protocol is particularly good for lymphatic drainage and detoxification as well as contraction of the thigh. The exact same arrangement of electrodes would be repeated on the left thigh. Use lower amperage for the thighs than you would typically use on the abdomen starting at about 20 milliamps and proceeding upward give, given the comfort level of the client. The second half of the treatment in session one is done on the back of the thighs. You will place the electrodes in exactly similar position using the crisscross with the red electrodes on the lower part of the thigh and the black electrodes on the upper part of the thigh. You would look at the back of the thigh electro placement chart for your reference. Okay. Session two and three on the thighs is going to use the power sequence protocol. And again, we're going to make sure that the red electrodes are placed on the lower part of the thigh and the black electrodes on the upper part of the thigh and we're going to place them in parallel. Again, the thighs use a lower amperage because the muscles are uh, smaller and we also want to make sure that uh, we're within the comfort level of the client. This protocol is used for 30 minutes before turning the client over and doing exactly the same protocol on the back of the thighs positioned the electrodes the same way in parallel uh, for the positive and negative. When uh, running the 70 protocols on the arm which is particularly good for removing some of the flab on the lower side of the arm. You want to take two of the small bands and wrap them around the arm above and below the middle of the, whatever this is called. Upper arm. Upper arm. Once you have wrapped the two small bands around the upper arm, you will position the electrodes. Again, we want to be careful about the positioning of the red and black electrodes and we will put them from output lead one, from output one on the lower part of the upper arm and the higher part of the upper arm across the major muscle. Make sure the black is in the upper position and the red is in the lower position. I will place the next two outputs on the back side of the arm, again placing the black in the upper arm and the red in the lower arm. This is power sequence. We're using these in parallel contracting the muscles. Always use lower amperage on the arms because the muscles are small and higher amperage will actually cause cramping. So in general you're going to use a 10 to 25 milliamps for the amperage on the arms. 
The Torque Plus allows you to perform a microcurrent facial, either during the body procedures or as a separate procedure. Most often the clients enjoy having the e-yoga clips attached to their ears for relaxation. The first part of this protocol is going to be using our special face and body buff. And this of the facial microcurrent is to use the 70 face and body buff to remove the external uh, layer of the skin for the best procedure. This is simply done by apply the face and body bump with a simple rotating motion to remove and exfoliate the face <laughs> and prepare it for the facial microcurrent treatment. This facial microcurrent treatment has been well studied. There are more than 500 studies that have looked at its ability to promote skin firming and toning as well as lightening and brightening the skin. The microcurrent actually works uh, to produce more collagen, elastin, and ATP during the procedure. Once you've completely covered the face, remove it gently with a cloth and then we're going to apply a very special 70 uh, skincare product. The second uh, important part of a facial microcurrent that it also increases the pen penetration of products into the skin. So we first prepared the skin and now we're going to apply the 70 product that is used for wrinkle reduction, the 7E Eye Ace. We are going to leave this uh, material, this formulation, on the skin for five minutes to begin the penetration and then we're going to begin our treatment to enhance the penetration into the skin for wrinkle reduction. Make sure to apply it evenly all over the face around the mouth where their lines form and at the edge of the eyes. Do not remove the product that you have applied to the face, but simply apply the seaweed gel, which is going to be used to conduct the microcurrent on the face, on top of the uh, formulation you've already applied. Apply the seaweed gel evenly from the neck, on one side of the face, from the neck, up across the forehead. This protocol is going to involve rolling uh, the microcurrent up across the face and across the forehead on one side of the face, and then we'll repeat exactly the same protocol on the other side of the face. The first part of the facial microcurrent protocol involves holding the stationary probe on the upper part of the area to be targeted and rolling the roller towards that target and holding the position between the probe and the roller for three seconds. And this is then repeated three times until you move to a new position. This is extremely good for the neck and the face. I move slightly coming out towards the ear. I always make sure that the probe and the roller do not touch. If they do touch, it's not going to affect the client, but it's not good for the equipment. So you hold the roller in place for three seconds. Let me show you a particularly important position that's useful for ironing out the frown lines. As you can see I'm rolling from the chin up towards the cheek and I'm pinching together the roller and the probe at the upper end of that roll. Again watching to make sure the two uh, are not in contact. I usually repeat this three times before I move to a new position that would look at the frown line and rolling the frown line a slightly different way. 
the most part of the microcurrent procedure is used to lift and tone. You're always moving from your stationary probe and you're holding it in the upper position. However, when you get to the forehead, you can both roll up the forehead as well as roll across the forehead. And this is shown extremely well in your manual in detailed diagrams of position of the probe and position of the roller. Uh, once I complete one complete side of the face, I will then apply seaweed gel to the second side of the face and do exactly the same procedures. Particularly for um, lymphatic drainage and detoxification, the area around the neck is important and particularly for the frown lines and the wrinkle lines, the area around the mouth and the eyes are important in terms of the protocol itself. The studies have shown that this increases collagen about 30 percent uh, formation in the face and ATP is increased about 50 percent. So we're seeing a real rejuvenation of the skin when we're performing the facial microcurrent. After completion of your facial microcurrent protocol, you will wipe off the seaweed gel with a wet cloth and then we recommend you follow up with a application of our energizing facial gel on the already treated face and neck. This leaves the skin energized and rejuvenated and ready for the client uh, to sit up and get ready to go home <laughs> or something. <laughs>